basically the entire Course in Miracles could be summarized with the part at the very beginning of the conclusion of the introduction. Nothing real can be threatened, nothing unreal exists, herein lies the peace of God. What is the real but the everlasting, but the infinite, but the eternal, but the changeless? That's what the real is. It's, it's what we sometimes refer to as, as light. Not light like sunlight or fluorescent light or the lights we're, we're familiar with in this world, but just the light of wisdom, <coughs> the light of understanding, the light of peace. That abstract light cannot be threatened because it is, as Byron Katie might say, it is what is. What is is just pure love, light, oneness, abstract oneness. And even our scientists have been formulating and pondering about this universe. They, they're pretty sure there was some kind of a big bang. And what fascinates them most is what is prior to the big bang. <laughs> What's before the big bang? Even though I think the way shower from 2,000 years ago, Jesus said, before Abraham was, I am. He's pretty much saying that the I amness, the reality that we call love and light, is prior to the Big Bang and therefore it's prior to time. So the present moment that all the saints and sages talk about is actually prior to time. And there have been scientists now that have, uh, like Brian Green comes to mind as a physicist who's literally mapped out the entire cosmos and he says it looks like a loaf of bread is what <laughs> it looks like a static loaf of bread. It's already happened, so it's just kind of like where you seem to be in that loaf of bread is basically your perspective on the whole cosmos. Whatever coordinates that you call your self, your flesh self, your human self with the five senses, that's like a little point in the loaf of bread that's looking out at the loaf of bread and the stars and the planets and everything from inside that loaf of bread. And basically, he said, the bread is already there, it's already happened. And there are a lot of traditions that talk about destiny and so on and so forth, and the script. And so basically, that really contradicts our human perception that, that the whole cosmos is like a loaf of bread. And that we're looking inside of a loaf of bread. It seems to be more exciting <laughs> than that. Another concept that you can bring in from science is, is entropy. Basically, ever since the Big Bang, everything that seems to be moving within the cosmos uh, is basically moving towards destruction. It's, it's falling apart. Um, and there's all kinds of examples, but if you watch the cycles of nature, or if you simply take a, a cube of ice out from your freezer and you set it out on your patio and you just watch it. It loses its shape and it goes into liquid. It goes from something that seems to be structured and ordered and it has pretty solid dimensions to something that's just liquid and it just rolls out and rolls away or evaporates. Basically that's the concept of entropy. So. Oftentimes we try to romanticize this world and we try to romanticize parts of the world, but basically the scientists are saying, no, it's all entropy, it's all moving towards chaos. You can deny it, but this is the fact of it. And they will say that once you go back to the Big Bang, that it actually, the cosmos becomes very ordered when you come back closer and closer to the Big Bang and prior to the Big Bang. So we're back to that, even the scientists are saying that whatever came before the Big Bang, there was order. We might call that nirvana. We might call that the kingdom of heaven. We could call it I amness. It's perfect unified oneness. And now even the quantum physicists that study the, the subatomic particles and they go deeper and deeper, where they just come down to basically connected energy. They call it entanglement. Everything is connected. There they are, they've come up with another word. The poets have words for it, the scientists have words for it, those in religion have words for it, and those that have spirituality have words for it. It's all the same thing. It's perfect connectedness.